In this video, we're going to look at the Document Conversion Wizard. The Document Conversion Wizard is a utility program used to import one or more documents into a new project file. This tool supports numerous file formats, including plain ASCII, rich text format, MS Word, HTML, Acrobat PDF files, and WordPerfect documents. The Document Conversion Wizard may be instructed to split large files into several cases and to extract numerical string and date variables from each case. It may be run either as a standalone application or from within QDA Miner. Some examples of structured documents that can be imported with the Document Conversion Wizard are outputs from journal databases, LexisNexis outputs of news transcripts or legal documents, as well as XML data files. If no splitting transformation or extraction of information from documents are necessary, an easier method to create a project would be to use the Create a Project from a List of Documents option. Let's take a look at the Document Conversion Wizard. In our first example, let's import data from a journal database using the Document Conversion Wizard. It's important to note that you can easily import Reference Manager documents directly from EndNote, Mendeley, and Zotero, and also RIS files using the Import from Data File and Web Services option. And you would not need to actually use the Document Conversion Wizard. However, this ProQuest file that I'm going to show you is a nice example of structured text, so we'll use it to show what the Document Wizard can do. The wizard consists of four pages. The first page is used to select the files to be imported. Let's move the file to the panel below for import by selecting it and adding it. You can import more than one file at the same time by selecting them all and pressing Add. Clicking Next moves you to the second page. This page allows us to split long documents into several shorter ones and store each as a separate case. It also offers special text processing for importing plain text files, such as removing extra spaces or hard returns. Let's have a look at the document that I'm going to import. This ProQuest file contains hundreds of journal references laid out in RIS format. Each reference ends with an ER tag. We will use this tag to split the document and store each reference into a separate case. We'll create a new case for each section and type this tag as it appears in the document. It's important to put the spaces between the dash. Let's move to the next page. This page allows us to extract variables from each reference. Select Yes. First, let's extract the title of the article, which appears after the T1 tag. Click Add to create a new extraction rule. You can choose the action from the drop-down menu. We want to store in a new variable. We need to specify the variable name. Let's call it title. And we need to set the data type. We'll choose string. You can adjust the maximum length of the alphanumeric variable here. To extract the title, we need to type the tag that appears immediately before it right here in the Start Delimiter field. Since each title is stored on a single line, we can leave the end delimiter option to end of line. You could also extract a fixed amount of characters or specify a string delimiter appearing after the title. Enabling the delete string and delimiters after successful extraction option will remove extracted string and its delimiters from the document. Select OK. Our first extraction rule appears here. Let's extract the abstract. The abstract appears after the AB in our file. 
we'll name the variable abstract. And we'll choose a document data type. I'll type in the delimiter AB with its spaces before the dash, and then select OK. Let's store the journal name as a string variable. The journal name appears after the JF. We'll call it journal and select a string data type. With a maximum of 50 characters. In this document, each author is stored on a separate line starting with an AU prefix. We will import both and store them in a single variable. Let's call it authors. We'll keep the string data type, but we'll change our maximum characters to 150. Our start delimiter is AU. To store all the authors in a single variable, enable the multiple extraction option. You can specify a separator to be used when more than one author is extracted. We'll use a semicolon. We'll now extract the publication year and store it into an integer variable. The publication year has a py prefix. Let's call it pub year. And we'll choose an integer variable. Extracting up to the end of the line should work fine, but we can also extract a specific number of characters. We'll choose four. Lastly, let's extract all the keywords and store them in a document variable. The keywords have a KW prefix. Make sure your multiple extraction, if repeated, option is selected and your separator is indicated. Once all of the extraction rules have been specified, we can move to the last page and create the project. Click the Create Project File button. Choose a name for your project and where you're going to save it. I'm going to save it on the desktop and I'll name it References. The preview table allows you to view the resulting project file and make sure all the variables have been extracted properly. If changes need to be made to the extraction rules, you can go back to the previous page by clicking the back button. Click finish to go back to QDA Miner. Our new project that has 200 cases, each containing nine variables, including three document variables, abstract, keywords, and a document variable that contains all of the remaining text has been created. Now let's look at how to extract news transcripts from a LexisNexis document. Let's create a new project using the document conversion wizard. Let's add this document. Let's have a look at our document while we're creating our extraction rules. This file contains 100 news transcripts from the New York Times. Each one with a similar header 
and additional structured information at the end of the transcript. The second transcript starts here. We could use of 100 documents as the case delimiter since it appears at the beginning of all the news transcripts. Instead, we'll use the string the New York Times Company as it appears at the end of each transcript. We inserted a hard return at the end of the string, just in case the same phrase appears in the transcript. Let's extract variables. We want to extract this date. However, there's no prefix tag immediately before it. Two lines above the date, we can see the string, the New York Times. This is true for all news transcripts in this file, so let's use this as a date delimiter. We'll choose the date data type and the month, day, year option. When importing dates, the format should be specified. In our example, we can see month, day, year. We'll insert two carriage returns to specify that the date to be extracted is two lines below. The wizard will search anywhere on this line for a month, day, year string pattern expressed in numbers, words, or abbreviations, ignoring all the remaining text. We'll now attempt to import the title. In our example, the string final always appears before the article title. We'll use it as our delimiter. We'll move it up to 150 characters. We'll use the dash before the final as well, because final could be anywhere in the document. And we'll add two carriage returns. The author name is located just to the right of byline. Let's add the variable name author. We'll keep a string variable of 150 characters, and we'll add our delimiter byline. Extracting the body of the article will require using surrounding information. We'll use the words item at the end of the length field as the start delimiter. And the URL found immediately below every new transcript as the end. Let's call our variable main text. It's a document variable. And our start delimiter is words. We'll use two carriage returns in case words is used anywhere in the article. We'll choose string as our end delimiter. And we'll type in URL.
To perform the extraction and store transcripts in a new QDA Miner project, let's click the Next button. Select Create Project File. We'll save it on the desktop and we'll call it the New York Times. Extraction rules for specific types of documents may be saved using the Save Options in a File button and later retrieved with the button above. Our project has been created with 94 cases and 7 variables, including two document variables, the main text, and another document variable containing all the leftover text.